Hey there, it is your gamer friend PD, and we're back for another bout of net hack. This will be our third attempt. <laughs> we had a little bit of bad luck with a bat last time, so it was a very short little round. As usual, we're going for a ranger. Where are you? Ranger. I will eventually switch it up and go for a uh, go for a, like a a, a different uh, a different class and whatever um, please watch my other uh, beginnings of my other let's plays if you want me to read this uh, little intro text but in the meantime I'm just gonna use the ampersand turn off auto pickup I'm gonna look at my inventory I have an elven dagger I'm going to hashtag n oops wait a minute I have to get out of inventory hashtag n for name individual object yes we're gonna name a sting string no sting okay so now we have the plus one sting we have 53 plus two arrows we have a plus one bow and blah 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 we're ready to go let's start searching let's seeing if there's any secret doors in this room There's a sink that there that can be interesting. Um, the dog picked up the scroll, so we can go ahead and read that scroll. Or uh, we know it's not cursed, rather. This is a statue. Okay. This is a sink. Sinks are very. Oh, uh oh, we just lost Sirius. He fell down this pit. Um, we'll have to find a down staircase and get him back. Okay. Look, here's a um, two gems and a ring. Now that's a bummer that we don't have our dog with us. There is a. Okay, this door is locked, so I'm going to K to kick. Make sure there's no pits. No, it looks safe, just what they call a closet. Let's see, there's probably a secret door there. There is. Um, basically, there's a lot of things you can do with sinks, but they're also very dangerous. You can take a sip out of the water of a sink, and um, there's a chance that you'll get a potion or you'll get poisoned. Now also, monsters come out of the sink. You can get a black ooze. Uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot uh, my... I just switched X to switch my weapon. I'm going to fire... Oops, what did I just do? Fire... Ah, oh boy. Fire that way. Okay, we killed the cobalt. Switch back to the dagger. Let's see here. Go check here. More gold. Um, you can also drop um, rings into the sink, and as they go down the drain, they'll give you they'll give you a, an effect, and you can use that to identify a ring. Like it'll say, well, it'll say different things um, according to what uh, according to what kind of effect that that ring might have uh, that ring might have on a person. Like it'll affect the the as it go down the drain. Like it'll say. Uh, you see a shape appear and then disappear, and that might mean it's a polymorph ring or something, you know, stuff like that. I can't remember specific. Okay, there's some armor here. Uh, again, we don't have our dog with us, so I can't tell if it's blessed, uncursed, or cursed. They in, in NetHack lingo they call it BUC: blessed, uncursed, and cursed. I'm just gonna go ahead and explore this whole area and then. Also, uh, you can get an incubus or a succubus out of it, which is a demon, and uh, depending on your alignment, they can really mess you up, or they can actually do favorable things with you. They can drain all your experience, or that they can give you an experience level. Um, they can restore all your, your stats. Um, you know, it's pretty... There's a it's very... You know, there's a lot of different stuff that happens. Let's see, we'll eat this jackal, kill this lichen, and pick it up. Uh, comma is pick up, in case this is your first time watching this game. I'm using a new headset today. <coughs> it's a mic and uh, a mic and a headset. You know, it's a headset, not a, just a headphones. I was using headphones and a separate mic. I'm just experimenting with a headset to see if uh, that's a little bit better for me. So if you have any 
suggestions about the sound or whatever, let me know in comments or just direct message me, you know, in YouTube uh, messages. I think we about explored this up. I really want to go back to that sync, but I do think that since we're only level, we're only experience level, well, we're experience level two. Um, but we need to level up quite a bit. Okay, there's our dog. See how nice he he's so happy to see us. Let us let me go around the wall. I forgot to search the walls for secret doors. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm just pressing S. There's one. Let's see. Search, 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 search. There's a door. Kill this rat. We'll let the dog eat this rat if he ever shows up. Come on, there he comes. If you leave your dog too long, they will become aggressive, like if because they'll starve and they will attack you because they're like crazed with hunger or whatever you want to say. I kicked that Dorian uh, with a K. And uh, oh, there's a Hobbit. Let's see. Okay, we killed the Hobbit. We are experience level three. There's a sling, and he the, he draw he shot some gems at us. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let's see. Let me drop. Let's see. Uh, now, if you, I hit capital D, and why did I do that? Because it gives you a lot of different choices. You can look at all types of your inventory. Items known to be blessed. Nine is to be uncursed. But item items of unknown, blessed, cursed, uncursed status. So we will definitely do that. So we're going to drop the sling. The scale mail. Oh, and a wand. I forgot I had that wand too. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, actually, this is not smart of me uh, because if one of these things is cursed, um, it won't let you pick up the other. Uh, he won't walk across it, so you'll never know if. Uh, let's see. Drop. Oh, that was the sling, and drop. I. That was the ring. Okay. Dog just walked across the ring. No problem. He also walked across the sling. There is a mob. Okay. So now let's just wait for the dog to see if he walks on this armor. It looks like he's not doing that. So, okay, I'll let the dog eat this one too. Come on, dog. Walk across this armor, you stupid dog. Yep. So it looks like this armor is cursed. I'm going to pick it up just because we have inventory space and strength to carry it. And maybe we can sell it or uncurse it or something. Okay, here's another ring. Okay, he walked across it, so that's fine. So now let's capital P. Oh wait, it says elf needs food badly. Oh, and I have my status is weak. I almost starved to death. Okay, let's see. E for eat. Let's try a food ration. That food really hit the spot. Okay, so we're done. Um, now let me go back here. Okay, so P capital P. And this is what do you want to put on? And it gives you I or Q. So we're going to try the ivory ring. Uh, left finger. It doesn't really matter. Okay, nothing apparent happens. So now we're going to put on the Q. And now it says we put that on. Now we could be, you know, we could have all kinds of different effects. We also have an uncursed scroll. So we have, let's go ahead and read it. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is we'll teleport or, well, there's a lot of terrible things that could happen. But, um... Maybe we'll be able to get lucky and get an identify scroll. So we'll give it a shot. G. Okay. As you read the scroll, it disappears. Your nose tingles and you smell food. This is the food detection scroll. So um, there is food on this level. <laughs> um, okay. We found a trap. So that wasn't a very good scroll. But um, food detection can save your life from time to time. <laughs> If you're starving to death, as we nearly were. Okay, we got. Okay, we killed a brown mold. Now I'm gonna eat this. Maybe we'll get an intrinsic. I believe we can get cold resistance. So, okay, it just it doesn't like it'll say this brown mold mold tastes terrible. You finish eating the brown mold corpse, and then there would be a third thing, like you feel a chill, perhaps that would indicate that you got an intrinsic from from the creature you just ate.
Okay, oh, there's a food that we, we detected. Looks like a mango. <laughs> okay, this door is locked. Okay, so we're in a K for kick. There's a cobalt there. Okay, we just got to level four. It said, uh, you feel awake. Now, I d okay, I d did you notice something? Where it looked like there was a mango, now there looks like there's a bag. Um, I think what we have here is one of our rings is a uh, monster detection. Or an ESP, a ring of ESP or whatever. Um, and it's letting us see that there's something there because that door was closed so we shouldn't have been able to see. Oh, no. That's weird. Because now there's a bag there. Okay, so um, before I pick it up, the dog walked across it, but let's do hashtag L, which is loot. Loot a bag. Yes. Okay. Okay. You carefully open the bag. It develops a huge set of teeth and bites you. This is a bag of tricks. So uh, what that means is that you can reach in and you can spawn a monster out of it. Oh, and look, there is there was that food that we saw. Uh, B, a slime mold, and C, a gem. That's what the, the, the kobold must have picked that up. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do the bag of tricks later. Oh, here's another ring. Wow, we're getting a lot of rings. Alright. A silver ring. The dog walked across it, so that means it's uncursed. Got some monsters to deal with there. We're just using our dagger to dispatch of them all. And there's a jackal. The dog ate it. Okay, there's another one. Now we can go down. But, you know, we're level four now. What, let's go play with that sink that we found earlier. As soon as we finish this, let's just explore the rest of this level. Oh, there we go. We found a secret passage. Sometimes the dead ends aren't really dead ends, as you noticed. So we're going to go back to the up staircase here. Notice that there are two down staircases on the left side here now. Um, that means this is the level that goes either to the gnome mines or to uh, the, the temple level. Uh, oh, we, we're going to eat that. I didn't want to pick it up. E, and we're going to eat W. Okay. Uh, one of the intrinsics you can get from a nuke corpse, the only intrinsic actually, is uh, is uh, to get our uh, what do you call it? To get our our mana, which they call power in this in this game. Uh, to be raised. Um, I'm just waiting for the dog to get adjacent to me so I can go up and I just use the the bracket, the left bracket key um, to go up and to go down use the right bracket key. I guess I never said that. Um, let's go over to the sink. So um, Okay, now we just got another thing. It says, you feel tough. You must be leaving, leading a healthy lifestyle. Sometimes just by exercising, what they call exercising, you know, like uh, you'll, you'll gain an intrinsic. So we, we gained an intrinsic. Um, it doesn't have to just be strength or whatever. It can be because, you know, other things that you've done, um, like dexterity and things like that. Um, let's see. Now I'm going to rep, what, repy the... Uh, well, I can't even speak. Ready my bow because we're probably going to have to run away from uh, whatever pops out of here if it's something bad. Okay, so I'm going to do a K and a kick, and it says clunk. Okay, nothing happened. K and a kick, nothing. K and a kick, nothing. K and a kick. Okay, I just hurt myself. I took four hit points of damage if you look down at my hit points. So I'm just going to use period to rest until my hit points come back to 25. There they go. K, kick. Nothing. Come on, dog, get out of the way. Okay. Okay, now we get a black ooze. Oh no, and the dog's in the way. Um Okay, I'm gonna do fire. Black pudding they're called. 
I'm basically I'm trying to get I'm trying to get out of the I don't I want trying to get out of the way of the dog. Okay, we killed it. So okay, now it says that there's a black pudding corpse here. So watch this. If I eat this, yes. Okay. You have a very bad s case of stomach acid, so we took some damage. This black pudding tastes terrible. You fit in eating it. And the dog dropped two arrows in the meantime. So I'm going to pick up this stuff. We did not get in intrinsic. Um, I'm just trying to pick up all my arrows that are hanging around. Um, we can kick it again. And maybe we could get another black pudding corpse. Let's, or we could get something else. Clunk. Uh, we could get a ring. Okay, I took some more damage. Okay, we hear some noise in the distance. That's because the dog is fighting with a mob that that came he came across. Okay, come on, dog, get out of the way. K okay, for kick. Our hit points just got back to normal. I have to wait for the dog. You don't want to kick your dog because you'll do damage to your dog. Get out of the way. Ouch. Okay, we hurt ourselves again. Okay. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I almost kicked the dog. See, that's exactly what you don't want to do. Uh, let's rest, 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 rest. Rest, rest, rest. Okay. Okay, kick. Okay, we got a... The dishwasher returns. That is a, a succubus. Okay. Shall I remove your cloak? No. Uh, and then um, it disappeared. Now it is still in the level. We've now have a summoned succubus. Now we can kill it. I'm going to keep on using attacking this uh, sink. Um, it'll come back and it'll try again. It'll try to seduce us. It tries to take off your clothes. Uh, where? No. P. I was just making sure it didn't, because what it'll do is it'll unequip all your equipment, and <laughs> that's one of the things it does. Okay, we took damage again. Oh no, I almost attacked the dog again. Okay, here comes the succubus. We're gonna attack her. So uh, I've got my arrows ready. So fire. Okay, we're out of range, but let me fire again. Okay. Fire. 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 Okay, we killed the succubus. We are now level six. So take that. Take that. Take my arrows, please. Um, arrow, arrow, and that's it. So we'll go back. Let's say let's just kill these grid bugs real fast. Basically, you can you can basically eventually the sink will break and it'll turn into a fountain or it'll dry up. Um, and that'll be. That'll that'll be it. But basically, you can get a lot of experience and stuff from the. Okay, we hurt ourselves again. Clunk. Okay, the dog is in the way. Get out of the way, dog. Eventually, you can find the least. Okay. F muddy waste pops up from the drain. You see a ring shining in its midst. So there's a steel ring here. So let's let the dog walk across it. Okay. Okay. It says right now he only moves reluctantly. That means that's cursed. Okay. So, what we can do though, since it's cursed, look, we're going to drop Y. Okay, you drop a steel ring down the drain. Several flies buzz angrily around the sink. Now, I think that means that is a ring of aggravate monster. Um, let's see, I'm pretty sure. So, aggravate monster. So, <coughs> since we uncovered this uh, 
this closet. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Oh, it's resisting. Okay, open, open. There it goes. Let me just do a search, make sure there's no traps or anything. Nope. All right, let's give this... Okay, now we're hungry. Um, let's see. A slime mold's always yummy. Yay. Um, let's see. Kick. Oh, wait. I did capital K. Lowercase K. Kick. Boom. Okay, I hurt myself again. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I have to wait. All right, fine. Your leg feels better. Okay, get out of the way, dog. Clunk. 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 Okay, I hurt myself again. Okay, f muddy waste pops up from the drain. The thing is that you can only get one ring, so if it does that, that means you would have gotten a ring hadn't had I not already gotten one. So. Oh, you know what? I meant to... I meant to let me just look it up on the the net hack list here. Uh angry flies. Oops, flies. Buzz around sink. Oops, since no sink. Okay. Uh aggravate monster. I was right. <coughs> See how smart I am? Oh no, I hurt myself again. Okay. I heal. Another chance for a ring that we didn't get. You know, just for the f fun of it, um, I'm gonna do a Q. Drink from the sink, yes. Q is uh, the the command for quaff, which is another way of saying drink. So we're going to drink from the sink, yes. The pipes break, water spurts out. Okay, well, we no longer have a sink and we now have a fountain. Um, since, let me make sure I've got my right, correct weapon equipped. Yes, I do, the bow. Since we, um, since we haven't done a fountain, I'm going to see if, uh, So let's see, we drink from the fountain, yes. The water's contaminated, okay. Look at my strength now, it was 15, now it's 12, so I just got punished for doing that. Drink again, you feel self-knowledgeable. Okay, you're devoutly aligned. It basically, we got a, um, you're sleep resistant, shock resistant, you can see invisible. Okay, now we know what that other ring is. Uh, we can, we have invis see invisibility. Uh, we have automatic searching, which is an elvish ish a thing. We have infravision. We are stealthy, which is an, a ranger thing. We're lucky, and we can safely pray. So, let's try drinking from it again. Yes. Okay, nothing. Drink again. Yes. Okay. You attract a water nymph. The fountain dries up. Nymphs will steal your gear, so you have to kind of be careful. But we can shoot her with arrows. Fire. I stepped away from her. And let's see here. Okay, we killed her. Now, um, you can eat a nymph, but there's several creatures that will give you what they call teleportitis, and that is you will randomly teleport uncontrolled unless you have uh, unless you have a teleport control ring, or you have it as an intrinsic, which you know, like you get it from eating a certain creature. So we let the dog eat the nymph because teleportitis can be very dangerous. Okay, there's a gas spore here. We need to step away from it because if you shoot it, if you pop it when you're nearby, it'll blow up. So, but, and it also we had to make sure the dog wasn't nearby. So we're done with this level. We, we took out the sink. Oh, I need to eat again. Let's see. Um, we have a Limbus wafers. We'll eat that. F. Okay, I just got blinded. Um, eat. Let's just wait a bit. Or, well, whatever. Okay, we can see again. We, it was temporary blindness, of course. Alright, so now we're going to go down. 
Now we'll, let's go head over to uh, these down staircases and let's see if we can find the, the temple. I don't want to go to the mines yet. Well, we could go to the mines. We're at like what level am I? Um, level six. So. Oh, whoops. I I started hitting the. Uh, I should actually switch my dagger. I started hitting that gas bore with a uh, the bow, so I didn't do enough damage to pop it because that would they they can really take you out. You can use them as an area effect weapon. It's actually pretty effective if they happen to be near a another mob. Um, okay, the dog ate this hobgoblin. Are you still eating him? Okay, he dropped something. Let's see. That looks like a potion of water. A clear potion. That's a potion of a potion of water. That means nothing it, it's nothing except that it could be holy water it could be unholy water or it could just be plain water um, you can make plain water into holy water and you can make you can bless or unbless things depending on what you need to do okay so now we are down this looks like the um, the temple level because there is no caves. Uh, the the no mines have cave or like have stone texture walls. Okay, here's a fog cloud. Let's give him. Let's switch to this weapon and we'll fire at him. You can actually get asphyxiated in a fog cloud. They're pretty weak though, but there are other. There's like storms and stuff that that will come and get you <laughs> and cause all kinds of good stuff to happen to you. Oh, I just shot instead of searched. Oops. Let's see here. Let's pick it all up. Yep. Okay. Sirius found a bell. We'll pick that up. There's a potion here. Let's see what the dog... Okay, he picked it up, so that means it's uncursed. There's a grave here. If we had a pick, we could... Uh, we could We could use it. Um, we could dig out the grave and then loot it and get probably some gold or something or sometimes a zombie will pop up or a vampire vampires are very hard hopefully we wouldn't get a vampire because we'd probably be dead instantly okay I hear a store uh, or I don't hear it. It says you hear the chime of a, cha uh, a ch cash register. You hear someone cursing shoplifters. That means there's a store on this level. Um, it's not the temple level yet, but it's probably going towards the temple level. Temple level. The oracle level. I guess it's actually not a temple. Okay, there's a Roth. We killed him. Um, it's like a buffalo, basically. Yes. Pick up the arrows. Oops. I did not mean to drop my bag. Okay. I triggered a trap. It was a sleep trap. That's why there's a letter Z on the trap icon. But um, elves at my level are immune of, to sleep. So, uh, to sleeping spells or whatever. Okay. There's a leprechaun here. We have to make sure he doesn't steal our gold. Okay. Le Elven arrow hits a leprechaun. Leprechaun hits. Your f purse feels lighter. So basically what happened was that he stole my gold and then teleported away. We can get it back if we can kill him. Okay, we killed him. So we got our gold back and um, we're going to get my arrows now. You can uh, Sometimes you'll get a leprechaun course, uh, corpse and you can also... Uh, eat those but they will also grant you teleportitis we it's just not a good thing because basically like if you go in a store and you pick something up and then you teleport away it's stealing and then you uh, you'll have the shopkeeper on your butt and uh, they're pretty tough at lower levels there's really no way to kill them until you're a higher level they always have wa uh, wands of like uh, lightning and all kinds of other stuff and uh, they'll just use those to murder you. Okay, a general store. Okay, this is good. Um, a general store means that we can um, well, we, we can buy, uh, we can sell everything we have that we don't want. 
Um, also, they're going to have a lot more stuff to buy. I'm going to buy this tripe ration. Yes, we'll pay that. Oh. Oh, no, why did I do that? Okay, good. All right. Um, let's see. Eat. They also have a th <laughs> mean thing they do is if you're, because I was at weak, because I wasn't paying attention to my hunger level. Um, if you're hungry, they, they'll, they'll, they'll charge you no more than, uh, let's see. Uh, they charge you more than than normal for for uh, items. Let me let me try dropping this. Oh no, I have to. Okay, unpaid Z. All right, so let's see here. See now it was sixty, it was sixty gold pieces. Now it's only twenty. So yes, we want to pay for that. Oh wait, uh, P for pay. Yes, we'll pay for that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to do some identification. So we're going to say, we're going to pick up this scroll. It says 117. Now here's something that you c one of the cheapest scrolls in the game is the identify scroll. So we're going to drop this one. It should be about 35 gold-ish. I mean, it depends on your, on your charisma and things like that. Okay, see this one's 26. This could either be a teleport scroll or an identify scroll. More, most likely it's an identify scroll. Um, Let's see here. What was this one called? Yeah, thanks mod, okay. Oh, there's another one right there. Um, there it is. So we have two of those. Now, I'm gonna pay for them both. Yes, we're gonna pay for them, okay. Now, before I read them, well, let me. Uh, I'm gonna pick up these other scrolls, because when you get a blessed scroll, there is a slight chance. And I'm also gonna pick up um, anything else that looks like uh, like the scrolls and uh, the potions, because there's a slight chance that you can, uh, with a blessed scroll, there's a slight chance that it'll identify everything in your inventory. And so basically, I'm picking up unpaid items. So on the off chance I get that that chance to identify everything. Oh, be very careful when you pick up scrolls and stuff because and and books because sometimes they'll crumble. And then if you don't have money, um, basically you have to pay for them, and then you have no way to pay for them. So it can be really bad. So let's see. Let's um, let's read one of these spells. Hopefully, it's not. I didn't get the teleport scroll because that would be unfortunate right now. Let's see. Um, we're gonna read C, which is the one that we paid for. The identify scroll. See, see how smart I am. Let's see. <coughs> um, now we. I'm gonna identify this ring that we picked up that that we don't know what it is because I want to see what that is. Uncursed ring of free action. Free action means that you can't get uh, stuck in webs and uh, you can't get paralyzed, things like that. So that's a pretty good thing. Now let's read the scroll again. And we're going to read the other identify scroll. Okay, so now it's going to let me identify something else. Um, I kind of feel better if I identify these uh, one of these rings that I have equipped. Or I could identify the wand, but the wand I can kind of zap and figure out what it does. Um, so I'll do a, another ring. Okay, see invisible. Well, that's good, but I that I already already knew or had a see invisible ring from that self knowledge that we got. So okay, now we're gonna do a drop, and we're gonna do there it, again. This is I did the capital D, and then it says unpaid items is one of the options. So I'm gonna click that. And let's see, I'm going to drop the tin. I'm going to drop the two scrolls here. I'm going to drop this spell book, this potion, that potion, and this ring. Now, hopefully, not all this stuff is um, cursed. Oh, you know, I should have probably. Well, okay. Let's see, paid. Yes. Oh, wait. I still have more stuff to drop. Um, drop. No, no, okay. Drop I f uh, unpaid items. I must have missed two things. Uh, I and J. Drop those. Okay. 
because he won't let you leave the store unless you've paid. So now I'm going to try to train the dog to steal all this stuff for me. Let's see if we can get him to come in. Okay, good. Uh, let me check to see. Okay, my tripe ration is letter K. So now we're going to just let him wander around. And if he picks something up and drops it by me, then I'm going to give him the tripe ration and that will train him. No, drop it up by me, dummy. Okay, so throw. Oh, what is it again? I. Z or K? Okay, throw Z at the dog. Okay. So now I get a free steel wand. <laughs> um, while I'm here, I just remembered I should. I've got like stuff I'll never use. Like I don't need this crude dagger. I don't need the sling. Um, scale mail is probably cursed, but I might be able to uncurse it. So I'm not going to uh, worry about that right now. Uh, bell, we don't need. Um, these gems, well, one of these is definitely glass and one is probably not glass. We'll just keep them in our inventory because they almost don't weigh anything. Oh, the looking glass, we don't need that. Um, the wands, scale mail. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're going to drop it. It says he offers you 10 gold pieces for your sling. Yes. Two for your dragger, yes. Looking glass, five, yes. Twenty-five for the bell, yes. That might be a bell of... There, there are, there's a magic bell called the bell of opening, but I can't believe that would be this low down. Um, now we have a dwarf here. So I'm going to kill him. Fire. We killed the dwarf. Okay. So this guy dropped some stuff. He dropped a pair of shoes and a pickaxe. The pickaxe is very good. A hooded cloak. We already have an elven cloak. So we don't really need that one. Oh, he took the bell back. <laughs> so let's... Oh, and he also dropped the leash. Cool. Oh, okay. Darn it. He wants, I forgot. He doesn't let you bring a pickaxe in. Uh, apply. Um, Q. And I'm going to dig one direction, and I'm going to drop the pickaxe there. Now, pick up this leash. Now, I can use this leash on the dog and uh, actually force him to follow me if I wanted to. So let's see. He's gonna, yes, we we'll sell that cloak. Now let's see if we can find the dog. Come on, dog. We're gonna steal some more stuff. Just like I taught you, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's hopefully he'll he dropped the mirror. Good. Okay, so I can throw K at him, which is the other tripe ration. So now now he should be fully trained. So let's see. Drop G, which is yes, I'll sell the mirror. And um hmm. let's see, apply W for the bell. Okay, I rang the bell, nothing happened. Um, so we're going to drop W. Drop W. Yes, he's going to sell me. Give me 25 gold for the bell again. Don't pick up my s pick. Come on. Oh, there he goes. He dropped the wand. So we're cleaning him out pretty much. We're going to have a bunch of wands and stuff. Um, we're going to have a bunch of gold. <laughs> okay, we got a sling again. Come on, give me that cloak. Come on. Okay, I'm going to drop. Let's see, drop. Um, I'm going to ha have the dog check out these shoes to make sure they're not cursed. And then we'll put them on. Yes. I'm afraid that I'm going to pick up... There's a whole stack of stuff here, but there's probably cursed and uncursed stuff mixed together. So I'm going to pick up a couple things. Let's see. Well, I'm going to pick up everything except for, one, for, except for A. Okay. So let's see. All right. So now we're going to drop. Oops, drop. Uh, this potion. And now we're going to drop this spell book. Now we're going to drop 
this potion. Drop this ring. Drop. Um, let's see. Okay, we don't have any more unpaid items, so now we're good. So now I'm going to walk back to the exit, and then we'll hopefully the dog will give us some more equipment for free. Come on, dog. Come on. We're going in the store again. There he goes. Okay. So let's see if he gives us some, I want some of these scrolls and stuff. Okay, come on, drop it over by me. PD needs his stuff. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got a cream pie, that's food, and you can also blind someone with it, just like in slapstick movies, you know, you smash someone in the face with a pie, that's what that comes from. We got a scroll, very good, dog. Um, okay, he just dropped the fizzy potion. I got another scroll. All right, we're just clean this guy out. Pick up the bell, pick up the bell, pick up the bell. Come on. Come on. All right, the tin. Okay. Let's eat the tin. E and then F. Okay. You succeed in opening the tin. It smells like floating eyes. Now, floating eyes give you ESP intrinsic, so why don't we say yes? Yes. You feel a strange mental... Acuity. Um, basically, that means that if I am blindfolded or I become blind, I can see anything uh, in the area. Um, he dropped me two uh, more things. Oh, three more things. We got another ivory ring and a bell and the cloak again. So, okay. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put the bell and the cloak way over here so we can start getting some of this other stuff. All types. Let's see cloak and where's the bell we'll keep the ring because I'm not sure what that ring does yes we want to sell the cloak yes we want the bell okay the shopkeeper will actually run out of money too so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this but you can get a store credit <laughs> but usually by the time they run out of money it's because that you've cleaned them out completely. There's nothing left. Okay, we got this dagger again. We're pretty much maxed out on carrying stuff, so I'm gonna have to start. Okay, now we got a potion. Let's see. I'm gonna drop this, drop this uh, orcish dagger and. I guess that's it. I think we're done with the store. I think we've played enough with this guy. I would like to get that spell book, but, you know, you can't be too picky, right? Alright, I think he got some arrows. We can, oh, good. We can use those arrows one day. They're orcish arrows, but, um, and the sling again, fine. Oh, I did not want to attack him, no. Drop O, right? Yes, the sling. So we're doing pretty good. We went from 160 something gold to 462 now. On oh, here's the orchid shagger again. Okay. Uh, T drop T drop T. Yes. Okay. There's an acid blob over here now. Uh, let's see. Wield A. Killed the acid blob. Okay. I'm gonna pick up my pick. Oh, he dropped he Okay, fine. I'm picking up the sling. <laughs> okay, let's read some of these scrolls. Let's see. Uh, B. These might be enchant weapon, enchant armor. Um, in fact, I'm going to switch to... Oh, no. Wield B. Okay. I'm going to switch to my bow, just on the off chance it is. It could be destroy armor. That's also one. It could be remove curse. Uh, there's a lot of different scrolls. You read the spell, uh, cur the scroll it disappears, and you notice I'm no longer by the store. I'm over here. That was a teleport scroll for sure. Um, let's see. If we go here to what would be forward slash, I believe it is. Like it's the opposite of the one that you use on the internet, uh, which is the backslash. So 
you can see what we've identified. Because we're elves, we automatically know what all the uh, the elvish weapons and armor are. Um, so that's what that is. We know what a dwarvish cloak is because we sold one. We know what the scroll of food detection is because we used one and the scroll identify and now we know what a scroll of teleportation is. And um, yeah, that that is what we're working with. Um, we're going to go ahead and read this other scroll, um, B. Okay. As you read the scroll, it disappears. You feel very greedy and sense gold. That is uh, treasure detection, I believe, is what they call it in the game. Um, I can show you how that works. We're gonna since we have a pick. Let's see. Oh, um, I'm gonna let's see. What is the command again? Remove. No monster. Um, hmm, I can't remember the commands. Let's see game commands. Let's look here. Um, there's a there's a way to move stuff in your inventory. So like I always like to put. Um, the pick on the inventory P slot. Um, let's see. Adjust. Here it is. Okay. Meta key. So we do A. Adjust. We want to adjust. We want to adjust our pick. We want to put it from Q. And we're going to put it on letter P. So now if I do, like we're going to dig here. So we do apply P. And we're going to dig. And then apply P. Dig. This will use up your hunger, but I just want to find this gold, so um, it may not actually be there. This might not be a legit scroll. Like um, sometimes, okay, what did it say? You're beginning to feel hungry. Okay, eat. Um, let's eat our Volumbus wafer again. Okay, apply P, apply P, boom. Um, like if you get a cursed one, it'll tell you the wrong places for everything. But this is a legit one. Okay, we stopped digging because there's a, mo a monster after us. B. So, um, I don't know where my dog is, but I'm going to shoot at the dwarf. Okay, we... Oh, you read a school of teleportation, so he, he teleported away. There's the dog. Oh, you're still stealing stuff? That's so sweet of you. He picked it up again. <laughs> Let's see. Apply P. Boom. So now we found 32 gold pieces in the wall there, or in the whatever, the rock. Real day. Oh no, we got a whole bunch of uh, orcs after us now. Um, I'm gonna switch to the arrows. Fire. Fire. Oh, darn it! Well, we died again. <laughs> I don't know where all these orcs came from. But, um, oh, you know what? I don't think I had... Did I not? I must have been throwing arrows instead of shooting arrows. Yeah, I was firing because I forgot to wield my... Uh, well, that is a mistake that cost me my life. So, thus ends PD3. <laughs> tune, in, tune in next time for PD4. Let's see what we got. Ah, <sighs> 44 plus two arrows, blessed arrows, orcish arrows, curse minus one scale mail. See, that's why I didn't put it on. Uncursed boots. See, that would have been good to have. Um, object detection cursed, so that will make everything that will make stuff appear f that isn't really there. Uncursed potion of healing. That would have been good to know. Uncursed potion of sickness. That would have been bad to know. <laughs> Potion of holy water would have um, would have blessed something or uncursed something. Uh, uncursed potion of see invisible, shock resistance, see invisible, free action, shock resistance, wand of fire, speed monster. That is a really good uh, wand. Uh, uh, hopefully, we'll find one of those again. Basically, what a speed monster wand will let you do is it lets you accelerate. It's supposed to be a cursed item because, like, you shoot it at a monster because you don't know what it is, and all of a sudden he's moving twice as fast. But you can also shoot it at yourself and at your dog, and then you move a lot faster. And then so then you can attack faster and blah blah blah, and it makes you pretty much a terror on the level. And it's a permanent effect. So um, bag of tricks, 
I never got to use that. Uh, we got a couple pieces of glass and then one jasper stone, which was valuable if we had identified it. There's ways to identify gems. Hopefully we'll find out some other time. So, yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, attributes. Um, I was piously aligned. I could have prayed, which would have saved my life had I been paying attention. I just assumed that I, I yeah, I forgot to look at my health bar. Um, I was telepathic, had on my searching, blah, 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 lucky and dead. And uh, let's see, the hardest thing we killed was the, the black pudding, followed by the succubus, and then the leprechaun, and then we killed a bunch of other stuff, as you remember. And we'll see our contact. We were an atheist. That means we never prayed. You never genocided any monsters, so we never found a scroll of genocide. We never polymorphed anything because we never had uh, a polymorph wand. We never changed form because we never had that chance. We used no wishes because we never got any wishes. And we died with level 3 with 3,047 points and 496 pieces of gold. After 3,534 moves, we were level 6 with a maximum hit points of three, 31. rather. So let's see. Well, that is our first place effort. Um, we uh, actually had less hit points than our previous attempts, but but we um, actually did better, so we got a higher score. So that's the end of the episode. Um, I put these out kind of irregularly. I'm trying to do at least one a week. Um, I hope you're interested, and if you have any questions, uh, just uh, drop them in the comments, and I, I monitor the comments, so I'll be able to, to uh, respond to you pretty quickly. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time.